You know what a parasite is? A parasite, they don't have a lot of life or any life hardly in themselves, but they draw the life out of other things. They find something that's living and they attach onto it and they just suck the very life out of it. Have you ever met a person like that before? You see them coming and you run the other way because they're like, they're like a vacuum cleaner. They're coming to just suck the very life out of you. And they, they don't bring anything to the relationships. They're always sucking things out of relationships. They're always the needy person in the room that is always finding someone that they can suck life from and, and depending upon the people around them for their sustenance uh, that is unnecessary where they need to begin to develop their own areas of responsibility. The next symptom is a symptom of pouting and sulking. Pouting and sulking is something that kids do when they don't get their way, right? And it's something that adults do when they don't get their way, okay? They pout and they sulk because things aren't going the way they want them to. They didn't get what they wanted or they didn't get what they demanded in a situation. So they go into a pouting and sulking kind of mode. That's immature. The next one is the retention. That's a key word. The retention of anger, resentment, unforgiveness, being an unapologetic person, a person who holds on to their grudges. That don't, they do not process their anger well. They don't process resentment and get it out of their system. They don't know how to really forgive other people. It's a mark of being immature, someone who doesn't know how to apologize when they do something wrong and say, please forgive me, I'm sorry, I was wrong. All of these are marks of being a mature person, something that we as adults want to demonstrate and we want to teach our children the value of processing their anger and processing their resentment and processing their unforgiveness so it doesn't stay in them and is retained in them and they know how to say, I'm sorry when they're wrong and acknowledge that because the opposite failing to do so is a mark of not growing up. It's a mark of still being a child spiritually and emotionally.